Hi everybody, welcome back. In this episode, I'm building a sliding door. These are lightweight and made from a thin sheet of OSB. Uh, plywood would also work here. These are set up so they can be put between a ceiling and a floor. Here in this office space, there's a rail attached to the wall and it's between the wall and the floor. We are again in the factory hall, which was converted to various uh, workspaces and offices. I showed you earlier how we set up a big space and uh, a cool little set of stairs. The reason why the sliding doors are in place here is because budget and modularity. All the spaces have the same door openings, uh, but all the frames and the concrete floor uh, is different. Uh, and sliding doors are very, these sliding doors are very forgiving with the discrepancies there. This is an old building with an old concrete slab, uh, so the height is different here and there. The luxury of working on a factory floor is the space and the ability to easily place bigger machines like a table saw, uh, and that saves quite some time and effort. First, the base sheet gets sawn into size and then small ribs will be glued on in place. On the back side, a bit of lumber stock gets glued on. This is for stiffness. wheels and the track are from a German brand called Hettig. This is a decent product and the load on the hardware is good, so even a heavier door would have worked. The wheels are adjustable in height, which is great, and four wheels are placed on the doors. Then the tracks are installed and the door uh, will be in place. I hope this helps you with the project and thanks for watching this small video. 